One of the questions, or, uh, or maybe you call it a complaint or frustration that we hear in conversations surrounding the Bible sometimes, are, is why can't we just read the Bible like we read everything else? And what's interesting, it's that the fact that we choose not to read the Bible like everything else that causes a lot of the, of the problems. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to read a few quick examples from literature. It's going to help me make my point. Uh, so see if you can identify what I'm reading, at least the genre, um, as I read these quick examples. Example one. Shall I compare thee to a summer's day? Thou art more lovely and more temperate. Rough winds do shake the darling buds of May, and summer's least hath all too short a date. Okay, that's example one. Uh, example two. July 14th, 1861, Camp Clark, Washington. My very dear Sarah, the indications are very strong that we shall move in a few days, perhaps tomorrow. Lest I should not be able to write again, I feel compelled to write a few lines that may fall under your eye when I shall be no more. So that's example number two. And the last one, step one, preheat the oven to 350 degrees. Step two, cream together butter, white sugar, brown sugar until smooth. Beat in eggs one at a time, then stir in the vanilla. Stir in flour, chocolate chips, and nuts. Bake, step three, bake for about 10 minutes in a preheated oven or until edges are nicely browned. Here's the point. I imagine that most of you were, were able to identify just from those really short uh, pieces the style of literature. You probably knew that example one was a poem. It was actually, it was Shakespeare. Uh, the second example was a letter. It was uh, from Camp Clark, Washington. And then the last one was a chocolate chip cookie recipe. But we instinctively know that we are supposed to read and interpret a letter different than a chocolate chip cookie recipe, right? I don't read a phone book the same way that I do a novel. <clears throat> we have built in us now the, the, the ability to know how to, to read those differently. But for some reason, when it comes to the Bible, we, we just feel like we're supposed to read it all as one long book of the same genre when it's not. The Bible is full of uh, letters. It's full of narrative. It's full of poems. Uh, it's full of recipes, uh, things like how to build an ark and, and things like that. Um, <clears throat> and so here is our tip, but really it's more permission. You have permission to read the Bible uh, as you do everything else. You identify the genre where you're reading, and then you're able to know uh, sort of instinctively how to make some of these interpretations. Uh, so just a challenge if you want a really short, I think it's a page long, um, you can read a letter. Uh, it's a New Testament letter in, in, yeah, in the New Testament called Philemon. Just read that, read it as, as you would any letter and see if that doesn't open up some new things for you. We'll talk more about each specific genre uh, in videos to come, but for now, uh, go read Philemon and, uh, and enjoy.